Hello everybody, today I'm going to Transformers, um, animated Japanese version of the, um, uh, Grimlock. Now, Grimlock here is, uh, very, very, uh, G1-esque. I mean, even the color, see, the uh, black, the gold, and the red, and the silver really blends very well. Uh, and really, it, the, the sculpt already looks amazing. Um, the only problem I have with this mold is the back part is so damn small. It should be, the tail is shorter than, it's shorter than, 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 than a sword. I mean, he, he should be like that big, but no. Yeah, has this stupid short tail. How he, he's, he's, he's gonna whip anyone with that. Anyways, um, one problem is the, what Emma calls the, um, visible head syndrome. Um, yeah, you can even move the head on the inner side, which is a pain, and you cannot turn it around all the way. So that sucks, but, yeah. Uh, so basically, you got the robot here. Uh, sort of. Uh, the legs just fall down, and, yeah, basically, that's it. But, you know, it's G1 accurate. I mean, when you transform this guy, you, you can really feel the G1 uh, transformation R is, um, it's really there. Now, some people put it, um, make, uh, put it like that so that, so it looks like he's, um, breathing, uh, fire, but I don't know if this will work or, or it works the other way or it plucks or plucks into the, uh, the jaw. I don't know, but somebody did that and I, I'm not sure if this is just how it's gonna, gonna work. Just chewing it. I don't think so. So, um, someone let me know, um, Autobot symbol there, uh, just one, and, uh, well, two, so, uh, let's transform him into his, uh, dinosaur, dinosaur, what the hell, his, um, robot mode, first thing you're gonna do is to, um, f split the, um, tail, and they're not picked together, so that's kinda a problem too, but it really is nitpicking, I mean, I am nitpicking. Like that. Um, you have to reach under there. Sure about that is off camera. No, maybe I'll raise the camera. And then you will have to uh, fold the arms down. Um, at the same time, you have to unpack these and loose these these two top pieces out. You can see a panel here, and they will just sort of wiggle out like so. And then you can uh, go ahead and uh, fold them down, like such. And then you fold the uh, this piece here and pick it back onto the back. Oops. Uh, it's off camera, sorry, but it's kind of hard. There you go. And then you will have to um, straighten the uh, legs and uh, push in the uh, arms here, like so, and uh, flip the uh, uh, hands here, or the claw, I should say. And then you just, like the G1, G1 version of this guy, split this part here. And then you have to hide his arm, which is something that the G1 um, doesn't have to do. And then you will have the whole entire section flip like that, just mid, mid transform. And then you just push it up. And this pick will pick it onto this groove here. And then you just simply fold this. So you fold this head and flip it up. And uh, there you have um, Grimlock in his uh, pretty awesome robot mode. Now, um, size comparison with uh, Prowl. Um, the scale really sucks. I mean, when I uh, that uh, when I transformed him for the first time, and I was like, oh, damn, it's so small. Because um, I'm kind of a scale geek. I really want things to be in scale, but yeah, that doesn't seem right at all. I mean, in the show, Prime's gonna reach, like, there. 
So, yep, the scale kind of sucks. But damn, it's Grimlock. It's Grimlock. Awesome character. You have nothing to do with his awesomeness. Has the assort here. Um, it can fit onto both hands. Now, uh, for the, uh, this hand, it, it just simply you know, picks it into there. And uh, not, not gonna bother even trying it, because it, it will work, cause, and it's no big deal. But the inner hand, you can see a little pick here. I mean, in the groove, there's a pick. So, and uh, and uh, in the in the pack, there's a little button button, and uh, that will basically just activate. I will push this button in, and this and uh, this will uh, do what it's gonna do. Pain in the ass. Like so. Then when you rotate this for uh, the hands here. Yeah. Now normally what it, how it works is basically just push this piece up and damn. Damn? <laughs> Bam, sorry. Unnecessary vowel language, but I said it all the time, so. Yeah, but it's kind of weird that you have to rotate it like that, because, I mean, it would have been better if you just plug it on, it will, and uh, these flames will just flip, flip out by themselves, but this, uh, yeah, it, I mean, like, 90 degrees, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, articulation is um, pretty awesome. Actually, really awesome. The head only turns, but doesn't go uh, anywhere else. Now, there's one problem. The, uh... The joint here is clear plastic. There's like only one piece of clear plastic here, and uh, on the visor of, of the sword, of course. But I mean, they get done it with anything, but they choose to use clear plastic as a as a ball joint, and uh, it's pretty scary. I mean, it's pretty s scary to play with because I mean, holding a giant gigantic sword and you can really, uh, the weight can really broke the joint, so, yeah, that sucks, but anyways, but, but it works, so far I don't see any scratching or what, um, elbow, now if you, um, pull the arms out, it might go a little bit better, uh, farther, but not by much, yeah, basically, yeah, it's the exact same thing, yeah, same, really does not add any articulation, uh, elbow, of course, and uh, the hands you can open it uh, and close because of the transformation. Um, but uh, to me, that's necessary. The waist, uh, the legs. Yeah, it's on a ball joint, but it's pretty stiff. And that is kind of hindering, hindering it. And a single joint knee that does what a double jointed knee can do, so that's really good. See, see, I uh, get the arms out of the way. Amazing, engineering for you. And then uh, has a little swivel there too. And then, well, if you really call this an articulation, you can move out, but that's because of the transformation. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So overall, um, very nice figure. Really like the paint on him. Really like the color scheme, especially. Because, I mean, it looks so cool. The the dull plastic blends in with the silver plastic so well. So well. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, uh, Transformers uh, animated Japanese version of Grimlock. Oh, by the way. Well, did I show you that? Yes, I did. So, nothing. See you at the next review.